So I was looking at this question on the community today about uh, how to import uh, from Click ClickUp in Jira. Now Click ClickUp is, I believe, a tool, some issue tracking tool, and I have no idea about how it works. Now the question is all about how to import data from this tool to Jira. Now when it, when it comes to importing data to Jira, there are few options. The most common way of importing data is, of course, using CSV. Now, if you can somehow export your data from your tool into a CSV format, then you should be able to import it. Now, I was doing a quick search online and I found this tool called ClickUp and I was looking at the documentation. Now, it is possible by looking at the documentation that there is some possibility of exporting data into a CSV and then uh, you can obviously import it if you go to your uh, Jira instance. So uh, right now I am on uh, the cloud version. The question was asked on the cloud version of Jira. So I'm, uh, I'll probably show you very quickly. So if you go to the import section here, under this external system import, you have few options. So things like you can, you can import from CSV, which we talked about. Now CSV is of course uh, quite good. You can read the documentation about how CSV import works. You have to basically map and uh, basically when you have different fields, you have to map them in your CSV. And when you have to, when you try to import them, Jira will ask you to basically configure the mapping. Like uh, this particular field is called a summary in Jira. What, what is the name of the column in your CSV and so on. And it will require some work on your side to configure your Jira instance in a way so that uh, it can uh, receive the import. Now there are a few other options like uh, you can obviously uh, uh, use uh, Jira REST API. So Jira also comes with a, with, a, with, a, with a REST API and that really works well. You can do a lot of wonderful things with the Jira REST API. You can read the documentation to, to know what all you can do. I have made a lot of videos on REST API, but of course when it comes to REST API, you need to configure, you have to basically write code. You have to do it programmatically, but REST API gives you a lot of uh, possibilities. There's also one more method of uh, importing using JSON. Now, JSON import is uh, also another option. And if you take a look at this documentation, here you can find uh, you know different things that you can do with, with, with a JSON uh, importer in uh, Jira, especially on Jira Cloud. Now you can take a look at different examples here. For example, if you want to, uh, I mean, this is a typical example of uh, uh, importing, uh, let us say, users, links, projects, and so on. It works quite quite well, but of course, you have to make sure that the JSON is in the right format. You can obviously take a look at these examples and try and play with them. For example, let us say, um, I, I believe in this particular example, you can see here that uh, it is trying to import uh, the, the, the issue, specific issue, under a project. You can also import uh, comments, which is always good. So let, let, let us try, let us try this option. So if I want, I can maybe configure my uh, JSON further. So let us say if I have my JSON file and I want to maybe import it, I will try. So let us try to import it in uh, maybe my Android project. So this is my project where I think I can, I maybe I need to import some issues, of course, using JSON file in bulk. So for that, I will probably create a file here, maybe uh, test.json and uh, I will paste my JSON file as it is. So what I will do here, I will uh, modify the project name, which is, uh, I believe Android, if I'm not wrong. And the project key is, uh, what is the project key? It is AM. So let me modify this and uh, then we have to, of course, uh, so th there is an option if you have, let us say, the key. So maybe I will specify an um, and reporter. Maybe I think we need a. I think we need a reporter here, and we don't need a external ID. L let us see what happens when we don't specify the reporter. I think this should should be a valid user in your. Uh, and maybe the key as well. I don't really want to specify key. I want the key to be generated automatically. So let us see if uh, we save this file and if we go to the import, we didn't really specify the, uh, the issue type, but uh, 
let us see let us see how it works so if i go to the importer external system import and uh, json i will then specify my file which i can uh, select the, the file that we just created i'm just going to select it in my on, on my jira instance just give me a second so let me select the file here which is the test dot json and uh, when you select the file it will of course be it will be uploaded then you can click on the button begin import so let us click on the button let us see what happens so it says validating requirement it will perform some checks projects are being imported so we have this error here in this uh, particular import and you can now of course fix it so it says error importing issue external id is equal to null summary is equal to uh, parent case status open does not have linked step in the software simplified workflow so we have to map it to a different uh, status so what i can do i can uh, go to my my uh, json file and i will modify it i think i can do something like this or maybe i'll do undo okay so let us try now so i think the error was the, the, the error was actually more about the status and uh, the external id so let us uh, check the status that we have in the in the project so maybe i'll open the workflow and, and i'll take a look at uh, maybe the current workflow i think the status should be to do or something else in progress for example so i'll wait for it to come up the issues i will try to open one of the issue so in my particular case if i'm using a software simplified workflow we have, we still haven't specified the issue type id so the, i think I, i can specify to do i think it should work so let us modify the workflow to do okay let us go back to the importer json and i have to select my file test dot json open begin import okay so now it is taking some time and it will now tell us that uh, we can i mean th there is nothing i mean you can take a look at the detailed log file to see what really happened now in this particular log file log file you can see here um so retrieving projects project is equal to no i think it was a i think it was probably the, the old one so this is the this is basically the um, log so it will tell you that custom field not found okay which is the case because we don't have a custom field called external id and uh, one issue successfully created so what i'll do i'll go to my project and i'll take a look at uh, what exactly was imported so android project and i will go to my issues and i want to see the issue type so issue type is the one that uh, is something that i want to see and i'll i'll take a look at all the imported issues so right now it is uh, okay i have to order it by may be created and uh, we have this issue here which is a parent case so this is the issue that was created and this issue is uh, 
story and there is a reason there is a reason why it is story and if you take a look at let us say the json that we have the summary is fine there is no external id but i think uh, it i mean the importer was complaining about it so that is why i added this i i, I added this particular external id field so there is a reason why it imported to story and you can fix it so there are a few things that we need to be aware of for example if you take a look at the issue type uh, scheme of your project story should be the default issue type so when you configure the issue type you have something called as of course the default issue type so if you take a look at uh, the scheme and if you try to modify edit issue issues types so the default issue type is story you can change it to bug here and then if you try to import it again a bug will be created for you so let us uh, change it and uh, save the issue type and uh, what i'll do i'll uh, save the issue type scheme i'll go to the importer again external system import json and i will select the file the same file I, i'm not i'm not really modifying the file and uh, begin import most likely it will work because uh, the file is same we just modified uh, okay so it says one of one issues have been skipped because they already exist in uh, destination projects so if i take a look at the det detailed log file so external id 1 to 3 already exist okay so we need to modify the external id now and uh, what i what i can do is i can maybe modify it to 1 to 1 to 3 4 i'll save it i'll come back to my imp importer let us try one more time it might seem a bit cumbersome to modify the file but uh, this this is how it works even when uh, you do it with the csv you have to do some work in the beginning just to make sure that the file is correct you have the proper mapping so hopefully there will be no error this time okay now it says it worked and if i go to my project my android project i can hopefully see a new bug in uh, the list so if i go to the issues order by not by priority i want to order by created come on it's okay we'll just modify we'll, we'll just open the issue directly okay so this is the issue parent case of course the summary is same but uh, you get the idea no this is fine but you don't really want to modify the issue type default issue type in your scheme always so there is a way to also specify the issue type when you are importing so if you search this page there is of course there are plenty of examples so you can basically see here that if you specify something like issue type is equal to or colon bug or whatever issue type you have it will map it to your correct issue type without of course uh, changing the default issue type in your project so i can maybe change it to story and uh, let us modify something here new new story here and uh, i'll save it i'll go back to my to my jira instance and i will do one more time external system import json choose a file again same file open and uh, begin import and hopefully this time a story will be created and it should work because we have a unique external id yep it worked i'll go to my project directly and hopefully i can see a new story so today i, I basically wanted to first let me validate let me check and then uh, we'll continue the discussion so 
JSON import works really well in uh, in, in some cases because uh, you cannot always uh, export in CSV, for example. JSON also gives you a bit more flexibility because you have a structure that you can follow. Um, and uh, sometimes it is easier to generate a JSON. Uh, there are a lot of libraries that will let you generate a JSON file directly. Um, so we were talking about uh, this new story. And uh, if you look at the new story here, it is, of course, of type story. And uh, the status is to do. And it is, of course, a very simple, a very basic example. But uh, the idea here was to show you that uh, JSON can also be used to uh, import into your Jira instance. And do take a look at this page, import data from JSON. You have plenty of examples here that will uh, help you in, uh, of course, uh, not only importing the data, but you can also take a look at different uh, mappings that you can do. For example, I'm sure when you're importing from your tool, you have fields like priority, status, maybe you have tags, you can use labels. So you have to spend some time in the beginning to basically map it to the right uh, field in Jira and make sure those fields are there in your project. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.